Hello everybody, it's Daniel again, and tonight we're going to be carrying on what we were doing before on the last stream. Not the Friday stream, because we finished that one, but the Monday stream. We'll be continuing the systems engineering. Hello everyone. I have... Hi. Yeah, I was about to say we have Carly here. Say hi, Carly. Hello, hello. <laughs> Let us know if the... Um, Audio levels are okay? I feel like they are. Mm. And we will crack on straight away. Um, so I don't know if you guys were uh, around uh, on Friday. Uh, Steve was supposed to stream, but I filled in for him because he had some things to do. And um, we were able to finish the reactor level. Um, and we had a little mini celebration. Um, so there's just a few more levels to block out. Um, still going to be carrying on with the systems engineering today, so we might as well crack straight on with it. Put some music on in the background. There we go. Right, let's crack on with things. Today has been a lovely day for the weather. Um, not a cloud in the sky, so I've been chilling around outside, you know, getting some vitamin D. Very important. And, uh, yep, just uh, taking it easy. Enjoying it while it lasts. So, yeah, when we left off, we had this really strangely shaped room. But we do have a glass floor here, so. We're going to have to work out what to do with that. I haven't done any changes to this level since. Um, I did actually want to do a few annotations and stuff behind the scenes because annotation is a bit boring. Um, but unfortunately, I haven't had the time. Um, it's been it's been a hectic week, um, and as soon as I came back. Uh, this week I've just had loads of stuff kind of piled on me, so uh, yep, yeah, I'll be doing that off camera. Um, I'm just going to do the, uh, I suppose, the exciting stuff you could you could call it that. Carly, how have you been today? Sorry, my cats are being a bit naughty right now and like terrorizing. Oh no! I'm locking them out of the room. <laughs> I'm out. Mm. So we've just had to cover that floor, but luckily we have a glass texture that we can just drop on there. Um, that should fill the void in for for this. Uh, not perfect, but we'll roll with it for now. Um, it does make the floor look a bit weird at some angles, but that's just how it works. Send it in the UK. <laughs> I did uh, took a law. Yes, I did. Some SPF 50 um, air hypos. They were as helpful. This cat emote face thing is freaking me out. It's mouth. Oh, that. Yeah. I was wondering what that was. But now you've described it to me, I can see it. Yeah. Yeah, so if I remember, yeah, we didn't really do this underground section that much when we uh, left off. Yeah, it's all it's all blank. Don't worry, we'll get that sorted out. Hmm. So yeah, that'll be two hundred by possibly oop, not eight hundred height. That's bad. Yeah, that should fit. Yeah, there we go. So, 
so uh yeah hope you guys had a good weekend um doing what is doing whatever it is you guys do um Uh, Everyone's uh, freaking me out with these cat faces. <laughs> they look insane. Oh god, now it's the top half. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, that is. Happy, uh, Happy Biscuits always has a good reaction face, though. <laughs> and, he's got, prepared. and he's got grabby hands as well. I'd be extremely scared. No, oh, don't even have to hack that. That's just a button that's there. Okay. No, that's not the right it says. Just quickly leave a plane there to uh, sort of show what that button is in the world. It's about there. Take this and we can cheat. We can just copy this over. Oop, no, nope, working off the grid. Can't do that. If I work off the grid, Chris will yell at me, and I don't want to be yelled at. Someone says, my weekend and week started great. Just found out about the System Shock 1 level editor and do, and do nothing else since. You guys <laughs> know about it? What are your thoughts? The... System Shock 1 level editor, is that something that's been made with the recent source code release, or is that something that's leaked that we don't know about yet. I don't know. It's been hard to keep up with that source code chat because mm. um, it's pretty active. It's one of our most active ones um, on our Discord. Yeah, it's nice to see um, everybody being so uh, active with that. Uh, Mess that up. Uh, where do we gotta go? Two, four, Everyone's and then a cap. Inquiring now. Yeah. Yeah, I am curious myself. But if there is a level editor out there, and it works, and you can make levels for it, then uh, I will be extremely uh, interested in what you guys make. I'm always a fan of um, mods and uh, watching what people create, so. Uh, my opinion is go nuts because that's how most people get in the industry anyway. Um, you make mods for yeah, things. Yeah, and be sure to share any cool things you make with us on our Discord or Twitter or somewhere so we can see it. Yes. Uh, please do. Um, I always, I always just really enjoy that stuff. Oh my goodness, what am I doing here? Come on, focus. Okay, yeah, we've got um, that floor there. And. Oh, someone said the Inky Blackness editor? Ah! Yeah, that's a community thing. Uh, I'm f I haven't personally checked it out myself, but um, I will do. I really will do when um, when I get the time. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, go nuts with modding. Um, it can be really fun watching what some people create. Um, I'm waiting for somebody to possibly do a Tron-themed System Shock or something like that, you know? Just some crazy stuff. Or, uh, yeah, Blade Runner or something equally kind of cool. Please make, like, I don't know... A cutesy thing, raise something in there, little pet farm grove. <laughs> I don't know. Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi anything. You could call it Tamashokski. <laughs> Tamashok. <laughs> that would be. That would be. Because Tama is egg, so it'd be egg shock. You say Tamashok, it sounded like Tomahawk, and then we'd be talking about Turok. Oh yeah, 
goes full circle. Mm, it does. I hope with the source codes, one makes a cutesy version of System Shock. Like, just everything's very adorable. You call it Chibi? Ch Chobi? Chibi? Chuck? I don't know. Chibi Shock? I, yeah, that's it. I nearly call it Choc. I nearly said Chocobo. Chocobo? Yeah, Chocobo. Put Chocobos in System Shock. Where did this conversation go? <laughs> the kind of day it is. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a Monday. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, that's at least. A thousand. Yeah. Yeah, an ultra adorable, cute Cortex Reaver. Just all fluffy, stuffed animal <laughs> version. <laughs> I don't know how you can make a Cortex Reaver adorable. It, lit sure it literally has half a corpse swinging from its. I make it a stuffed animal swinging from it, like <laughs> the lower half of a teddy bear. <laughs> That's <laughs> genius. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay. Someone's asking. Um, so I'm not sure if you can just answer this in a non-NDA breaking way, but have hmm? you humored the idea of a multiplayer System Shock One similar to System Shock Two? Ooh, um, I'm not sure how that would work. It would be interesting, um, but um, thinking about it versus actually concepting it is completely different, though. Yeah, I mean, System Shock Two was kind of built for it in a way it had its interface was a lot better it allowed you to share things um, with shop one you'd have to redo a lot of stuff um, personally I don't know if it would work um, but <laughs> I would be very interested to see if the community can do something with the source code that would be very interesting yeah. Um, and that's probably the best answer you'll get from me on that topic. Two, four. Better than what I can say. I have yeah. <laughs> so we've got two, four, then two, four again. Okay. Let's make a battle bot mode with the source code <laughs> and just have two hackers sending down different, like, I don't know, repair bots to fight each other. <laughs> Mod those repair bots to have like chainsaws on them. Rock'em sock'em robots. Yeah. Yeah, that works okay. And we'll just extend that floor out another four hundred. Fits nicely in there and doesn't have any waste. I feel like I'm super tired, but have no right to be tired right now. I've had like two coffees and a nas today, but I feel exhausted. A nas. That's the energy drink that I always drink. It has uh, like yeah. one of the highest caffeine counts of any energy drink. Mm. But nothing's waking me up. <laughs> And my cat keeps bringing me trash. Like plastic bags. Stop that. Better than dead birds. Don't cats that normally do that? That's <laughs> what my other cat does. I brought this dead bird for you. Hope it's okay. No, it's not okay. I've got to clean that up now. Apollo, my big fat cat, he brought us a bird one time here. And it was like at really early in the morning, like 2, 3 a.m. maybe. Um, and the bird was still alive, and it hit against the wall and Ugh. put it out of its misery, kind of thing. Yeah. Hmm. I, I, 
prefer really. dogs. I'm sorry, I'm I'm a dog person. Um, I've had dogs. I had um in uh, for a long time. Um, from I think I got this dog. Uh, like maybe when I was in sixth grade, when I was like twelve, I got mm. a border collie mix. Oh, like a part border collie, part terrier. Oh. She was very cute. Her name was Coda. Terriers are great. Oop, where'd that go? Yeah, she was like, uh, she had a lot of the border collie um, traits and features, but she was smaller because of the terrier part. It's funny because I'm actually wearing a shirt that has uh, the word terrier on it. Oh. Uh, it's the Huddersfield Town. Um, the nickname for them is the Terriers. And uh, I'm wearing the shirt that they gave away on the last game oh. on the weekend. And it's the their uh, their animal sort of mascot is a terrier. So that's a uh, that's something no one cares about. Yep, more footy business. Sorry. I was just reading chat, and they're saying. Uh, dead birds are better than live or half alive mice, but I get <laughs> I get mice too. But what, are the mice that are being killed and brought around the house are desert mice, and they're very cute, so I feel very bad. Hmm. Oh. Right. They're like the two kinds of mice. <laughs> Speaking of dogs, I promised my brother I would show off um, a picture of um, Bella. Uh, I don't if you can see this, but. Uh, that's Bella, um, Fox Red Labrador. Aww. So, that's Bella. She's now been immortalized in uh, stream history. Unlike, you know, Steve's dog who's shown up and my cats who like to peek in every single time. <laughs> disrupting animals. Artemis can't go one day with me streaming where he doesn't appear on camera. Hmm. I want us to get to partnership on Twitch so we can um, make our own emotes for the chat. Oh, yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. That's that's my dream. Hmm. I really want that. <laughs> Um, we're almost there. We just gotta finish one of the objectives to qualify. Is that the follower count? No, that's something else. Our follower count slash goal thing has to do with um, uh, a personal goal of ours. Because um, once uh, we hit 5,000, we want to do a physical giveaway of things from like our shop. Ooh. Like maybe some shirts and stuff. Um, but, I mean, we're making good progress on that. Hmm. That's good. Um, I know on screen it says 2,416, but we need to update that. It's actually 2,616, I think. Yeah, I couldn't find the setting before we went live. Sorry. We're organized. It's fine. Um, they're asking what it would take to get partnership stuff. Um, we're, we've completed the first two qualifications. The third one has to do with getting consistent viewer count it wants us to have in the span of 30 days every time we stream a consistent um amount of people watching or at least like around 75 people for a short amount of time so we're trying to push towards that initiative and follower does help the follower goals that we have should help with that hmm. or like spreading the word <laughs> and streaming a lot more um, like, because we have a stream on Monday, which is today, and then on Wednesday, possibly Thursday and Friday this week. Yeah. We love streaming for you guys. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Mm. Plus, in a weird way, it kind of helps with, with motivation a little bit. Um, because... Because I have to focus on stuff. Like I'm normally pretty focused anyway, but when I'm actually doing this, I really have to focus. So, 
Because all I... eyes are on you. Yeah, all eyes. No pressure or anything. Yeah. Pappy Bissett, that's right. If we want to hit our goal, just make cyber cyborg mi- Blech. I can't say words! Cyborg minions! <laughs> they better not be yellow or tic-tac shaped. Or I'm gonna no. lose it. Me Good. too. I want to make, if we can make a moats, um, maybe of all our our pets that appear on stream, but cyborg themed. That would be cute. <laughs> We can have Shodan ones, we can have Turok ones, and then we can have cat slash dog cyborg ones. <laughs> Come on guys, move it. I'm trying to build a level here. No, they want to walk awkwardly towards you. Move! Oh. Out of my way! There we go. Those are your friends. Little robot buddies. Now they're going to push me. Come on, stop it. There we go. Mm hmm, okay. Yeah, we can just copy that one over. Change its thickness and. Change its thickness. <laughs> oh, God, I said it in that way as well that, uh, yeah. That's how you're supposed to say it in 2018. <laughs> With two C's? Yep. Someone's asking how do you handle the patrolling of enemies in your blockouts? <laughs> you talked um, about that last time. I... In this situation, I would just put them... Um, wherever I think is best. Um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, in this situation, I mean, they don't they don't patrol very far. I mean, like they wandered out there, and now they've wandered back in here. Um, they're not bothered about you know doing huge patrol like routes, like in Thief or anything. So it would just be in this room. I'd probably put a marker for one here where I'm stood now. And once you get out of my way, I'll put, probably put one on the other side of the room there. Um, it doesn't really matter. But that's how I'd handle that. Two, four, eight. Okay. This room's just a dead end, isn't it? Oh, right, yeah, I forgot you need the rocket boots to get up there. Where does that go, I wonder? Oh, right, of course! Because we built this area before, we know that that area goes up here. So that's... right, yeah, okay. This is like very confusing to look at when you're not the one doing it or when you come back to it I'm assuming um because everything's so gray it can be that's why I use colored lights in a lot of places to denote what might be in the area um mm. it helps uh, it can be a bit sure. confusing also um when I get around to doing the annotations that also helps a lot with um with finding your way around. But now this is where we um, so what we had to do in another corridor is we had to extend it by 50 no 100 sorry and because we had to do that now that that was in a previous stream now in this stream it has had a knock-on effect so you can see that this whole area that is the shape of the room it's 600 by 800 but because I had to extend that corridor by 100 this room that in Unreal isn't 600 anymore it's 700 so all we just have to do is extend things out I mean pushed around stop pushing me 
Um, but that's an example of where you've got to be really quite careful. Um, so, uh, yeah. But we know it's okay. And there's there's nothing going to be affecting this. Um, so, it's all fine. It's all linked together, so no changes need to be made in this area. Whether this will also have an, an, a knock-on effect with other areas, we'll find out. Hmm. 100 by 400? No, 500. I've received the uh, a hacker face palm face emote to save now. <laughs> <laughs> you exec bots are being really rude. That's this area pretty much uh, blocked out, so we can move on now. I will leave um, a model here, though. Just so I can remember where the energy station is. Where's that model? Oops, not import. Uh, Darth Jamex is wondering, uh, what will you do after blockouts are done? Um, what will happen is we will assess the space um, for all the areas, make sure that everything is correct. Um, assess what areas we want to maybe extend or maybe look prettier or um, maybe um, um, alter its design a tiny bit to make more sense um, if a space is affected by that problem. Uh, once we are 100% happy with everything that's when we start creating the um, art um, and the block out will help the designers um, to know what the space is and they will just be able to go in and put the art over the block out and it will make that process so much faster for them um, because if they didn't have this block out they would be um, constantly having to check the game and um, assessing the space that way but if they already have the space built out and correct they can just go in and do the final art um, really quick process for them so that's what will happen uh, arts also certain someone has joined us in chat certain someone in voice chat Steve oh right oh hello you're being quiet <laughs> he snuck in How's everybody doing this afternoon? Doing very good, thank oh, you. Yeah, good. Chat saying hi. Hello, chat. It is... Oh my god. 89 degrees here in Washington. Damn, it's hotter there than it is here right now. It is toasty. We randomly had rain for a couple of days, uh, last week. 
Randomly had to rain. It's very weird for that to happen here this time of year. I hear that people don't know how to drive in the rain there because it just doesn't happen um, very often. Is that right? Uh, yeah, people get weird about the rain. I don't know why it's not actually that difficult. Mm. So when it does rain, people just get too excited about it and go, ah, rain! <laughs> You are almost becoming Britain. Congratulations. Um, someone said, "Are you are bleh, are you recording all the old audio logs, or just going to reuse the old ones?" I think the plan is to re-record. Uh, that's yeah. a Stephen question. Yeah, we're going to re-record them, and <coughs> um, a lot of the dialogue is going to be rewritten uh, slightly, based on the edits that Chris Avalon is going to make. And then, of course, we're going to have some new some new uh, audio logs. There's going to be some that are written by a couple of our backers who recently got the survey, right, Charlie? What was that? I missed part of the end of there. Oh, they uh, we sent out the survey to the backers that get to put their own oh, audio log in. Not yet. Um, so there's we still need to find a better, more efficient way to send out the surveys because um, Kickstarter only lets you send it out once, and uh -huh. um, we're having an issue private private um, posting the survey. So we're gonna have to send them out individually, um, which will happen within the next week. Is the plan? Right. I forgot about that. Yeah, it, I planned on getting that this week or next week at the latest. Because it's actually going to, I have to recopy over the old surveys to make new ones and then um, send them through uh, backer kit methods. Also, they're saying um, your mic is very quiet, Steve, so I don't know why. It sounds as if the audio is not coming through your microphone. It sounds like there's another microphone in the room somewhere. You know, Windows just did an update. Let me see. Say no more. Yeah. There, someone says, uh, you should lend your voices to the audio logs so it stays amateur and authentic like the original <laughs> Winky Face. <laughs> I would like to do it if I was allowed to because I like voice acting. But it's about wanting to get the same quality throughout each <laughs> instead of just all amateur. <laughs> Would be funny if we could get Austin Grossman back to do uh, Edward Diego. I don't know if he'd want to do that though. I wonder how hard it would be to do that, like, to convince. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Carly, you did some voice acting for. Uh, I did it for my the last game studio I worked for, and I've done it for like random web pages for like different things in the past but at my last game studio I worked for I voiced seven or eight background characters and an AI character that they just filtered my voice and then I was the um, sub in for the main voice character that we had um, for like uh, testing purposes and then <laughs> Towards the end, I actually became the real voice by accident. <laughs> it just happened that way. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's an issue with the mic or, or not. Uh, how about now? Ooh, there we go. Sound oh, yeah. That sounds better, even just on our end. I don't understand this thing, how it manages to switch over. There's actually two mics on my headset. Oh. What? <laughs> two? That's weird. There's two, and it sometimes there's like it, it switches over to the to the other one. Um, I don't know how it does that. It's a big mystery. <laughs> Someone's saying they hear buzzing. I'm gonna turn up my volume and see if I hear it. Oh yeah, I hear buzzing. Is it from the from the game or is it from a mic? 
I will mute my mic and see what happens. Okay. Let me know when it's muted. I can't, it's muted. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the buzzing's gone. Right, well that's me then. Um, and I don't know what could be causing that, so... But the buzzing stopped. When I muted my mic. No, when it, it when you're back, it stopped. Oh. But now it's back again. So I don't know. Maybe it's while you're quiet. It's buzzing. Um. Don't know. Sorry. Huh. Maybe. It has to do with replugging in your mic might help. And try it. One sec. Okay. How about now? I still hear it. Hmm. Sorry, I um don't know. It's better though. It is a little bit better. I wonder why that was happening. Hardware can be a strange thing. Uh, so we've got two, four, six, eight thousand. Two, four, six, eight thousand. And then from that point, two, four, six, eight along. Two, four, six. Yep. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, that's right. And two, four, six, eight that way. They're uh, asking about the virus mutant, Steven. Um, if you've finished it or not, or if you've been holding off to show. Or if you're here at all. I don't know. <laughs> He's. He's gone. <laughs> what? I'm back. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> um. Uh. I'll repeat that. Uh. They're asking if you finished the virus mutant or not, or if it's being saved for uh the stream. Um. Yeah, I haven't finished it yet because there were some changes that Rob wanted to the. Um. The humanoid mutant. And they both are going to use the same rig. So we had to, I basically just have to kind of wait and see um, how we want to approach the character pipeline. Um, so it might be a little while until it's finished uh, in, in game, but um, it'll be pretty awesome when we get there. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of what else I could do for a development stream. I could probably alter the humanoid mutant. It'll be more ZBrush stuff, but um, yeah, people seem to like that. This is one screwy space. Uh, two, four, six, eight thousand, twelve, four, six. Okay. Okay. Um, at the end of this stream, Daniel, you should show off the keypad. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. I've been going into the editor just to play with the keypad because it's just so, uh, <laughs> the feedback is so satisfying. Hmm. Will do.
Everyone misses mutant Hank Hill. Hank Hill? Because of the Hank Hill booty he's got. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Flat butt. <laughs> I'm drawing the blank. Hank, Hank Hill is, um, dang it, Bobby. Yeah. Right, yeah. That was a good impression, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you knew all along. Mother of God, it's all toilet sounds. Where did you record this? That's my purse. I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tugalow, tick Tugal, Tugala. Damn, we yes. reduced that sound. In the remake, are the keypads in world only, or will there be a HUD graphic too? Um, right now, they're in world. We don't have a HUD graphic. But um, yeah, he says that they were hard hard to spot. Um. So yeah, there was a couple of issues with the Unity demo with readability for a lot of the stuff. Um, we, I mean, obviously didn't have a lot of time to test for that, but uh, <laughs> we did notice that people were trying to interact with everything that had a chevron pattern on it. <laughs> and what we've done now is we've kind of we've taken all that out and we've made it so that the language is um, for interactables is very cohesive. Uh, it's like just a little game design thing um, that just makes it a little more easier to find what you're looking for in the environment. Oh, they're like using a keypad on the keyboard. Yeah, that would be a nice little, it'd be like you're actually using it. That's kind of cool. Could you do that in Shock 2, Daniel? Do you know? Uh, could you, what was the question? Sorry. Like if you're entering a key combination. Mm. On a keypad, could you use the the number keys? Yes. Yeah, you you will see speedrunners uh, use the numpad. Um, I do. So yeah, you can do that in Shock One as well, if I remember rightly. In the original. Oh boy, this area is going to get very confusing very quickly. Please don't tell me that's a paper thin floor. Oh no, it is. Um, how? What is like your percentage of completion of uh, building this out right now? Ooh, about seventy percent. The whole game. Okay. I mean, like of this level. Oh, of this level. Uh, uh, I don't think I've even hit. Hmm. I'd say about quarter. Damn. I've just hit a major roadblock, though, which I'm going to have to think about how we can get around. Is it because of the old game not being thick like this one? Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't You're help You're just it. looking for excuses to use that term, aren't you? <laughs> well, we already have said it like a million times in chat today already. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so... Mm, what am I going to do there? Oh, that affects that as well, okay. Here, I'm going to mm. post this in chat. I'm not sure if everybody saw this or not, but it's a... Uh, somebody set up their home alarm system with System Shock okay. 2 sound effects. <laughs> I was watching that, and that would stress me out so much. Yeah, it's... I have to watch that. <laughs> He's 
He even has it so that his lights ch like turn red and start flashing. So scary. It's like okay. It's a bit extra. That's really cool, but oh, you I mean, you'd also have to imagine that if somebody did break into your house and set off that alarm, like it would scare the shit out of them. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I, it would. I hope it spawns in real hybrids. Uh, <laughs> if it doesn't, I'd be disappointed. I, I retweeted that for our Twitter too because damn, too intense. Probably plug in our <sighs> Okay, this is pretty bad. Because if I change this, this is going to affect the entire layout of everything else. But, it looks like I don't really have a choice. So we're going to have to do something. It's funny how one floor can cause a really big issue. You guys can't hear me, can you? Uh, Very quiet. I heard something about picking up something, but that was it. Okay, yeah, the mute button on my mic apparently doesn't work. I'll be, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, uh, I'll be right back. Right, okay, so in order to get around this problem, we're going to have to change. Someone's like, can you drop the lower level down some? And someone's like, can you portal it? Mm, no. Uh, well, this is a roadblock. I didn't want to hit live on stream, but it happened. So, what can you do now? Um, I could move on to another section of the station and give me some time to actually think about that. That could be good. Um, mm. Save out, and for the second half of the stream, start level 8. <laughs> well, uh, I could... Uh, I, when I mean move on to another section, like... Just... There's another area of the station that I could go and actually block out, so... Oh. I undo that. Thing is, though, I am now lost. Mm. Or I could just load a save. Yeah, let's do this part. This part will be fun. Oops. Yep. Took a law. That's exactly why. We can't copy the old levels because of problems like that. But the if I this will actually help if I move on I, I have been caught like this before and what usually happens is I go away and do another section of the station that doesn't have these problems and usually um, it all kind of 
ends up working in the end because then if I have the station parts of the station that work built out I can then make very small changes to the parts that don't work later um, it kind of all works out in the end but um, yeah that's that's a perfect example of why we can't just bring the old levels into um, Unreal through some kind of tool it just wouldn't work That's 400 by... okay. And copy that over. I don't know if you, you read chap, <laughs> but this says, can you just put a sign at the end of the roadblock that reads, to the most fanatic fans, I apologize, but the section of the level in the original game couldn't possibly exist in the, oh, I can't say words, Euclidean space. So instead, here's an apology sign. Please head to deck four now. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. What the heck is that? Oh yeah, that floor moves anyway, so that should be alright. Uh, so, okay, so, two, four, six, Our eight, ten, twelve. Our chat is the most 12, entertaining chat 15. of all Twitch. That's good. Yeah, so if I remember rightly, that button lowers the um, floor here. There should be a Mark III assault rifle on the other side. Whoops, no. One sec, my editor has decided to go crazy. So... This is pretty banal, but I had to uh, to order my dog a new dog collar. Oh. <laughs> so we had to pick out the collar. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's really weird. He he's had his collar ever since he's become like an adult size, and <laughs> we took it off him two days ago so that we could play with him with the hose because it's been so hot. <laughs> and uh, it's disappeared. We have no idea where the collar went with his Purposely tags. And... So we had to get him a new one. He does not want to yeah. adult. We we thought that uh, like a raccoon might have come in the yard. Like like we left it out there Plains at night. Plaintiff's treasure. And... Yeah, <laughs> and maybe he was attracted to his tags because they're shiny. Or maybe a like a crow flew off with it. I don't, I don't know, but it's, it's just gone. It's one of those things where I've we've looked everywhere, and it's like, where the heck That's could so it have gone? My, I took hmm. Artemis, my uh, Siamese mix, to the vet, um, wearing his harness, and um, when I got him back from the vet, the harness was missing, so I need to go back because he loves his harness, he feels very comfortable in it, and we go on walks, and yes, I do take the cat outside on a leash and 
uh, harness, so just <laughs> clarify. And we're trying to get harness train and leash train, but now the harness is missing. And he behaves so badly when the harness is not here. It's just one thing after the other with these animals, isn't it? It is. <laughs> My fat cat at this very moment, Apollo, the big boy, he's acting like I starve him and don't feed him ever because I put him on a diet and he wants like to non-stop eat throughout the day and right now he's licking the bowls <laughs> just hoping for food but he he's honest I can't I can't feed him until later he had a big breakfast he's had enough well I'm sorry to make this so brief I have to I have to hop off for a little bit but um <gasps> I know I know but, uh, yeah, we'll have something special for the Friday stream, hopefully. Um, I'll figure out what to do. Cool. Cool, yeah. See ya. Yeah, thanks, guys and, and girls. <laughs> I will talk to you all later. See ya. That is 800 tall. I think it is. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah. Someone's asking me if cats act like a dead fish on a leash. And that's some cats do. My older cat, he acts like a dead fish on a leash. But the younger one actually really likes it. And my old cat, Solaire. Uh he really liked the leash too. They they get a little they roll around and get hyper. Dead fish? Yeah, like they just flop over. Oh <laughs> that's right. What cat, that's what my fat cat does. Ah okay. I just have to say the word walkies and Bella will go nuts. Oh I bet. So dogs are bonkers. Mm-hmm. My old dog, um, I would walk her to the park and then take her off the leash and she would just run laps and get really <laughs> excited. That is 600 by 400. Oh no, that's a really tall one, isn't it? Okay, never mind. U four hundred, stick you there, copy you over. Okay. Alright, so I've worked this out correctly, lining up. That's 400 cross. Yeah, that looks right. Cool. Um. I'm sorry, I'm struggling with things to uh, say. Just, uh, if anyone has any questions, uh, type them into chat and we'll try our best to answer them. 
Yep. I know everyone's bummed out that Steve left, but we can still answer things. Mm. I'm a bit... I'm getting a bit tingly now. The sun's definitely caught me today. Oh. I'm sleepy. That's just... Monday's in a nutshell, though, isn't it? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sleepy. Yeah. Uh, question. Have you ever sped run, um, either System Shock, just to see if you could? Hmm. Um. No. Um, but knowing me after I finished all of this block out, um, I'll probably try it. Um, because I know, I now know a lot of the station like the back of my hand. So, yeah, I probably will do. GTD is asking, have you ever made levels for Duke Nukem, Blood, or Shadow Warrior? Uh, no. I have not, not personally, no, I've not used the build engine. I did, um, make levels for, uh, Thief... Three, um, because it was unreal. I did want to make a thief campaign, but I could never really wrap my head around um, the crappiness of Dromed. Um, but when Thief Three came along and they released the editor tools for it, I jumped all over that and uh, made two campaigns for it. Uh, So, yeah. Uh, the third player says, "Well, I was asking a while ago. Thief will be celeb or it will be twenty years this November. Any plans to celebrate it?" Ooh, oh yeah, it will be, won't it? Um, personally, I'll probably play it again. Um. Yeah, that'll be what I do. Uh, one, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Now, this is twelve. This should line up with that doorway, and we should be good. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Awesome. Gotta love this oddly shaped um, corridor. Like, y you wouldn't ever have something this shape in a real station. I just want to play Story Seasons, Tree of Towns, for like, hours. That's kind of what I was doing last night, was playing it instead of sleeping. <laughs> Trying to have a good farm. You have wanted, you have wanted, um, look. You have, um, reminded me that I don't want to pick up that little Dragon Cafe game that's coming out. I really can't wait. I'm sure it's going to be August. When mm. it comes out. Yeah. Someone's asking a question that is much more of a Steve question. I think I'm going to copy it and send it to him. What is it? Um, they said, I saw several micro prose games on your Wikipedia acqui acquisitions page. I know it's more of a Steve question, but is it possible to see Mech Warrior or Mech Commander? Yeah, that's a Steve question. Yeah, I'll send it over to him. And maybe we can answer that next time. Oh wait, <laughs> he's in the chat. Oh yeah. Posting. 
So much for him having to go. What a he's sly, sly sleeve. He's still hanging around. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Not 2200. There we go. Oh, he says he's in the car. All oh, right. I'm gonna assume Alex is driving because you can't drive and type. I hope not. Otherwise, we're gonna need a new CEO. <laughs> <coughs> Man, this is some screw stuff, okay. Oh yeah, someone says, no worries, it's a Tesla, He and, and he's installed Shodan to drive for him. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the point, cars will have their own operating system soon. And we'll all be in trouble when they all crash. It will just be I mean, it to us. I mean the OS, not the car. Or maybe the car. I don't know. BRB. Oh no, I'm on my own. Just for a few moments. Uh, what deck is this right now? This is level 7. Systems Engineering. Oh my goodness, we've got all sorts of oddly shaped ceiling patterns. That's definitely 200 in height. Yeah, Dromed was pretty good for its time. Um, just every time I used it, it would crash um, and just make life very sad. Um, so, I personally didn't use it. I know many people do. I, I, I know that there are hundreds and hundreds of thief campaigns out there that are amazing. Um, I do enjoy firing up the odd campaign that someone's made and playing through it. Hey, I do enjoy pl playing through the odd campaign that people make. Um, I actually helped someone beta test one a while ago. Um, but that was a long time ago. I even helped on the, um, so th there was a tool before, um, FM Cell was built into, uh, the executables by the community. Um, I helped somebody work on a tool called Garrett Loader, which you could use to, um, used to load um, Thief 1 and 2 campaigns in, as well as Shock 2, Doom 3, Half-Life 2. It was quite good for the time. I don't know what the guy who's working on it is doing these days. I tried to get in contact with him, but no response. That's not 100% correct, but I'm not going to lose sleep over that. That's a really silly layout for a ceiling to begin with, so I'm just going to leave that. Do that wall and call that area finished.
Mech Warrior is a game that I've been wanting to play. Um, I did see a copy of Mech Warrior 2 for the Sega Saturn um, in a shop nearby me, so I might grab it before somebody else buys it. Yeah, that's why it's screwing up. What I've found is really helpful. Sometimes things misalign themselves in the editor. You just hit Control and End, and that will fix everything. Now that's going to be. Oh no! No one can get away with that. Okay. Oh, here's another classic comment from Invarial. 90%, 99% of the game was amazing, but I have to give this game a 0 out of 10 because of the weird sloping ceiling in one part of Deck 7. Did not match the original game. What are you even doing, Night Dive? <laughs> one person guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> These are some good comments. I... You don't chat much, but you have some classic input, and I'm loving <laughs> it. Uh, 400. It's probably, I don't know, 2, 4, that's probably about 600. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to start the basic ceiling off there. I'm not going to make the whole ceiling right now because I need to actually see what I'm doing. So, put that there, make that 200. That'll fit. Yep, that fits in there. Is that 200? Yeah, that's 200. Yeah, that's right. Yep, that's looking right. Yeah, Ray Montem is right. That slope was crucial plot, d a really <laughs> crucial plot element. Yeah, that's just a straight 200, isn't it? Hang on a minute. No, that's not right. What's going on here then? What have I missed? Is that not 200? Oh, no, that's not 200. That's a little bit more. Okay. No, that's 300. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, that'll go all the way up to that part that we previously f built. Oops. Someone, uh, the Imperial, is asking a serious question: How large in checker boards is the character? Do we know? Um, in the original or in this one? The in this one, I'm assuming. Uh, one sec, I'll check.
Hmm. Hundred. About a hundred and. About 150. 150 units tall, by the look of it. Um, Yeah, 150. So, now, how long is this floor? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 2000. And that one will be sixteen hundred. Actually, it doesn't matter. We can just just grab that face and just move it there. And that wall's okay. I'll we'll just cheat and copy it. Yeah, that works out really well, actually. Okay. So now we've got that corridor pretty much done. We can extend the ceiling over. It should be 2000. Someone's asking if there's been any news from other side about System Shock 3, but that's not stuff we can talk about, since it's not us. Yep. So I'm just saying that now, just so people know we can't really talk about what's not us. Personally, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it'll be cool. I'm excited. Oh. I guess I just want to talk about it in chat. That's fine, too. I just thought you meant you were asking us. Ah.
This is all looking good so far. For some reason, this hour and a half has felt longer. Oh my god, we've been going for an hour and a half. Wow. Yeah, time is weird. Yep. Time even. Just like this ceiling, it is very strange. Are you excited for E3? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I am too, but mostly for Nintendo, to be honest. <laughs> That's because I'm hoping for um, Animal Crossing. <laughs> I will look forward to... Um, I believe news has been leaked out that... Um, I'm not sure if it's official or not, but apparently there's going to be some Beyond Good and Evil 2 footage being shown, so I look forward to that. And there's apparently going to be an hour-long um, press conference for Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, yeah. That I'm looking forward to. And praise um, DLC as well. Whatever they decide to do with that. Man, this is one crazy area. I forgot who told me about the Don't Starve DLC Hamlet. Um, but I'm mm. excited for that. But I don't think it has an official date yet. I know I have to... I'm streaming I Have No Mouth this week, but man, I want to continue my playthrough of Shipwrecked um, that I did last week. So maybe I'll stream twice in a day. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I want to continue it. I've been just sitting here like... <sighs> Even though it's exhausting to stream that much, but maybe, I don't know. I like the Nintendo E3 announcements because I like the way they've switched to doing their Nintendo Direct for it instead. Yeah, Nintendo just do their own thing, don't they? Yeah, I appreciate them. So I that was saying that I could. Um, back up the save and play it off stream for my um, shipwrecked play playthrough, but I would feel weird doing that, and I'd probably confuse myself of thinking what has happened and what hasn't happened. Right. Yeah. Because keeping track of what's going on in the world is kind of confusing for me. Oh my god! <laughs> and Varial says. Uh, <laughs> says something about um, uh, Bethesda saying, are you sure? I can mm. swear they were just announced Skyrim for Abacus this summer. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me. Yeah. That's funny. I w it, like, come on guys, it's time for Elder Scrolls 6. I, I want, do want another Elder Scrolls game really bad. Oh yeah. But I don't like to think about it because I feel like it will never happen. I get sad when I think it's seven years ago that Skyrim was out and I remember um I, got, I remember I got distracted by its um launch because it was launched on the 11th of November 2011. That was the same day that okay I'm getting 99% of people might not know this, but there's a, a sci-fi sitcom called uh, Red Dwarf. They were going to put tickets for sale to go and be in the live audience for the, the showing of the new series. 
and the tickets sold out so fast uh, I got distracted by Skyrim and I missed the opportunity to grab tickets to go and be in the audience for me and my brother so I was quite sad I'm feeling pretty bummed <laughs> um, about, I like the show Last Man on Earth, and it, it's not getting renewed, and it ended on the, the most annoying cliffhanger. Smoke me a kipper. I'll be back, back for breakfast. <laughs> if you've never seen Red Dwarf, see it. Um, <laughs> it's great. One, two, just three, four. It. Yeah, just do it. Catchphrases. I'm happy that Red Dwarf is back on television. Um, I really, really enjoyed series 10 a lot. Um, and the other series after that have been good as well. Two, four, six, eight by two, four, six, eight. Okay. My, f uh, I think one of my favourite uh, Red Dwarf scenes is um, in series seven, where um, Ace Rimmer is um, fighting Nazis um, <laughs> on a motorbike with a crocodile. It's so funny. You have to see it. I've already, I probably already said too much, but it's just so funny. <clears throat> Someone just said um, the word Fortnite in chat. Mm -hmm. And yesterday was Mother's Day, and I was out to lunch with my mom and my little brother. And my mom's like, What is that one game, that popular game I keep hearing about? It starts with an F. And <laughs> she meant Fortnite. And my mom had so many questions about Fortnite. <laughs> Do you only have two weeks to play it? Why? Why the name? My mom, uh, she's very interested in like what's popular in gaming, but she only plays things like Mario Party or Super Smash Brothers, or she really loves Miss Pac-Man. <laughs> but she's interested in everything else. Yeah. She always asks questions. Uh, my mom loves Mega Bomberman. Um, that was on the Mega Drive. Um, so much so that um, I set up um, an emulator on a computer for her to play it whenever she wants. That's nice. My mom only likes games that she can brutally win at and feel really good. <laughs> She's very competitive. Mm. She should play Fortnite and stream it. <laughs> We're all a family of gamers, really, now that I think about it. That's how my family is, too. Do, do, do. Two. Six. Oh, I didn't make that eight. My grandma used to like watching me play WoW. Um, I remember I used to play at the dining room table, and she would be sitting on the porch being able to watch me from there. While she was <laughs> smoking, and she would ask me so many questions. Mm -hmm. And she blew her mind that I was playing with real life people on the internet. Oh, yeah. My grandpa's super into games, but my grandma doesn't quite understand them. Hmm.
Hmm. Hmm. Might have to leave that area. Can't do that one just yet. For reasons. Um. What happens to level geometry outside of the playable areas, which is the corner of that 8x8 eight eight behind the diagonal wall? Um, well, once... Um, it, will, it will kind of just be ignored by the uh, engine um, when we go into it. It will still be there, but the player just won't be able to access it. Um, but this will... Um, this block out will be used for um, putting the final art in there. Um, it will also be used, I've just remembered, it will also be used for the uh, mini-map as well. Um, rendering that out. So um, all this won't go to waste, but uh, that kind of stuff just kind of gets ignored by the engine. So Branch to online gaming? Uh, not really. There are multiplayer components in our games, but uh, not really. Uh, not multiplayer central. Oh no! Someone posted something very special for you, Daniel, in Discord. Oh, okay. I'm kind of scared. It could be. Are you going to go look right now? I'm looking. Where is it? It's in the fan art section of System Shock fan art. Oh, the um, exhumed hero fan art. No, uh, under System Shock reboot fan art. Oh, oops. So I was looking at the wrong fan art. <laughs> <laughs> Face is gonna haunt unexpected. me. Yeah, that face is gonna <laughs> haunt me now. You know, I often think about the anime Chobits and how I really want my own Chobit or like Android daughter or whatever. But like then I think of things like mix how cute Chobits is, but then mix it with how scary some AI is in like cyberpunk games. Hmm. And what would come out of that. And then how Chobits is basically uh, Blade Runner in a way. Oh, right. Tug Claw, <laughs> your comment on that fan art section is good. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> Lady Lenny has unlocked a secret achievement on Discord. Hmm. That secret achievement is a secret role I give to random people. <laughs> No game, there better be a darn good reason why that floor is not so triangular. Like, why? Mm. I know that there's a hidden floor somewhere around here. Where's Chris? Oh, he's out, isn't he? Ah, uh, oh, probably. I think Chris said he was going out. I was going to say we could drag Chris in here, but uh, I don't think that's possible. Um, I'm looking. Yeah, he's offline. Okay, game, I'm gonna roll with you, but if there is no good reason why this floor is slightly different, then uh, you're getting changed later. I just typed this in Discord, but um, a reminder if anyone is doing like System Shock or any Night Dive game related fan art, and you post it and have a Twitter, uh, tag me so I can retweet it. Also, I will never not play um, Spyro music while streaming. Because Spyro is amazing. Incoming sound you don't like. Apparently it is a little bit better, but we still need to turn it down even more. 
Well, we know how to do that, so that's no problem. Okay. Time to do the floor. Yep, that's 600 across there. Go up, make that 800. Hey, Deep Chrome. Oh. I feel bad because we're towards the end of the stream now. That's true. Hell, I could keep going. I don't really mind. Because this is what I'm going to be doing anyway. So oh, yeah. if, you, if people just wanted to hang out, I don't know. tuning out after the two hour mark because I need to do other things. Yeah. But you can go as long as you want. Six hundred, one hundred. Cool, that's that. F that's that taken care of. I should fill that hole there. Yeah, that was um that was Unity. Oh yeah, sorry, I wasn't reading that aloud to you. 
Sometimes I read and then I don't say it out loud. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah. There's a question that says, is it going to be possible for players to switch between new and old graphics if they feel like going retro? I like when remakes give that option so I can compare and contrast generational leaps in tech. Ooh, um... That will probably be too much. That's a Chris question, I think. Or a Matt question. I can't imagine we'll be doing that. Yeah. I don't think that's something But we have the enhanced edition out already. Ooh. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we got to dip in this floor here. So, does that go down by a hundred? Yeah, it does. All right. It's nice when things are just nice round numbers like that. It makes my life easier. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. Is that already? Yeah, that's already ten. Uh, oh, right, yeah, okay. So this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Oh, it should meet up with that floor that's over there anyway, so we should be alright. People are asking about VR, that would be cool. I haven't tried any VR myself, it just seems like it'd be cool. Mm. A satisfying feeling when you build round and then link up to another area and it just fits. It's great. It means you know you haven't cocked up anywhere. Um, VR, no, I haven't tried it myself. Um, so I am uh, not sure of the hype, to be honest. I guess it's one of those things that once you've tried it, you kind of sold on it, but um, I haven't. Don't know anything will ever come out in VR that's. Um, 
like a fully immersive kind of experience. What I've seen mainly are tech demos, and that's about it. But I'm, I'm sure I'm sure there are some good things the out Resident there. Resident Evil game that had come out recently that looks really crazy in um, VR. Mm. Apparently, it's really good in VR. The thing is, that how do you? They can't. They can't have built VR to be an immersive thing, can they? Because you can't exactly move in VR, can you? You've got to constantly use the controller and point and zap I, yourself. I, yeah, I, can't, yeah. I don't have um, first-hand experience, so I couldn't say. But it seems mm. to run nicely. Yeah. People are raving about it in chat right now. Mm. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Hang on, that's not twelve. Two, four. Oh, it is. Okay. Um, question. Will the PC version of System Shock remake uh, or reboot will have a gamepad support? I feel uh, like it would because yeah. we're doing console too, so. Yeah. Imagine having VR hooked up to a treadmill. That would be such good exercise. <laughs> Chase the carrot. You got a you got a carrot tied onto your back, and it's you got a little string over the, over you with a carrot. You just keep running. You'll never get the carrot, but you'll get exercise. Someone says, how far into development are we? That's a tough question to ask because it's different for each department. Yeah. Um, that is a question with many answers. Yeah. All I want to say is that we're definitely on schedule for what we promised for September. Yeah. If anything... Um, when it comes to the block outside of things, I'm really quite far ahead of where I thought I would be. Um, I think I overestimated how long it would take me to do this. Um, but hey! For Let's people asking what's in September, um, we're hoping to have a playable alpha for higher tier backers in September. And then shortly after that, beta for those who are in the beta tiers. 200, 
I'm just going to cheat here. Take that wall. Um, someone's asking if they can back to be in a high enough tier to be a part of the alpha testing. I'm not even fully positive what tiers are doing the alpha testing, but um, we'll let you know. But you can still back us on Backer Kit, and if you want to upgrade your backer level, just message me on Discord. Hmm. And yeah, people can still get into the beta tiers. A lot of them are beta tiers. It seems like I have to look at where it starts again because I don't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, if you want to upgrade, just let me know on Discord because I can fix it. Need their email address for that, right? Someone's asking me, uh, how do I keep up with chat when it's so busy? And the thing is, I don't even fully keep up with it, I feel like, because I still miss questions, it seems. <laughs> I try my best. But yeah, um, for backer kit stuff, if you want to upgrade your backer tier, message me on Discord. I will need the backer email, and I can change things on the back end to make it go um, to a higher tier, and then just re-email you the survey. GTD is saying, I can keep up if I scroll up in chat. And I say to that, I don't always scroll up. <laughs> <laughs> and after a certain point, it does cut off if the chat's fast enough. It doesn't um, go to the very top. It just goes back to a certain amount of uh, uh, comments. I'm going to finish this room and then call it for tonight. <clears throat> Sounds good. Yeah, we're just past our two hour mark now. About. Yeah, it shouldn't be too uh, long. Uh, someone's asking me if I'm watching via Twitch. Um, no, I have our Twitch channel up so I can type into the chat. Oh god, this is an enclosed area. Okay. What I mean by that is it doesn't branch off anywhere. So oh. that gives me some flexibility um, when it comes to the other rooms. Because if there's a room if there's a room behind that wall um, I can change things around. So I don't know if... Uh you want to answer this because I think in some ways you've answered this in other streams. Hmm. But someone says, doesn't System Shock 1 have a map editor? Wouldn't it be better for viewing the original maps than just running around in the game? Um, the... well, I think the map editor... if, you, on, if, you, if you're talking about the... Uh, what's it? The Inky Blackness editor? Um, I didn't know about that. Um, I could check it out, but I figured it so might be... Someone's saying the map editor for System Shock 1 is only top-down and doesn't help with the other dimensions. Yeah, I was going to bring that up, yeah. So I need to f I need to physically go in there and look at the space. Um, and that includes, um, you know, wacky ceiling heights... Um, 45 degree angle walls like that. Um, yeah, I, I need to look at the height as well as everything else in order to accurately create the space. Um, with just top down, I can't do that. Here's another question for you. Plus, um, I, I also thought it might be a little bit more entertaining if you could actually see the parts I'm editing as I create them in the in Unreal. That is cool looking. So, see. yeah, so yeah, so you can actually c compare what I'm doing um, 
and enjoy it. <laughs> Sorry, Here's next. another question. Yeah. Uh, while you've been working on these maps, did the original level designers have a sense of the dimension of each level of the station, or did they just sort of go ham and say, this is how big the game needs to be? Do you know? Anything like that? Ooh. I know, for one thing, they were very good at keeping um, the overall... Um, how can I word this? Um... The um, overall space is very circular. It's in the shape of the station itself. So they were good at kind of keeping with that. Um, I'll actually load up and show you what I mean by that. So if, you, if you're familiar with Citadel Station and how it looks, it's pretty round. So if I do a quick zoom up here, that's the entirety of the reactor level. Pretty round. Um, same with the research labs, actually. If I do a top-down view, pretty round again. Um, so they were good with that. Um, some of uh, all the levels don't really match up to look like this, but um, most of them do. Um, I don't think executives a good example actually. Um, yeah, ex executives a horrible example, but they were good with that. But um, I can't really think of anything else. I've I've actually forgotten the question. <laughs> Sorry, what was the question again? Uh, it had something to do with like the original level designers um, and having a sense of the dimension of each level of the station. Mm. Um, like if they actually had a plan for all of it or did they just kind of go at it? I think they just went at it but were kind of good about keeping things um, station-shaped, if that makes any sense. Uh, two, four, six, eight, round there, and oh, that's eight as well. Okay, might as well make that four hundred then. Someone says, can't wait to see level 8 blocked out. Babe, no. level into music. Yeah. Level 8 is... gonna is, uh, is the one I've been looking forward to from the very beginning, really. Um, that's 300. Yeah, uh, yeah if, if you know level 8, it's this huge... Sorry, if you don't know level 8, it's this huge... Um, tower... Um, that the entire level is kind of built around. It's going to be so much fun. I will do that on, on a stream, I'm determined to. Yeah, that'll be a fun one for you. Mm. Ooh, why do I keep getting that wrong? There we go. Oh, GT is wondering uh, about if you're going to keep going, and you said um, earlier that you're just going to complete this room and then the stream would be over. Yeah, I'm just going to um, complete some of these walls. I'll, in fact, I'll just get the basics in, actually. Um, I might go in after this stream and just polish up some areas that I've um, neglected a little bit. Um, but it won't be anything drastic. I can't solely. I I can't um, completely not work on a level in between streams. That's that won't work at all. I need to do some work on them in between. So we've got four hundred. Then that. Okay. If you guys have got any final questions, now's the time because we're getting close to the end.
You guys have been great, by the way. Thanks for uh, coming along and watching. I know it's probably not the most exciting thing, but... Uh, As always, we have a 10 out of 10 audience. Hmm. Very good. Someone says, who will be the lucky person to render a full cutscene for this secret bad ending? <laughs> Um, someone's asking if we know how far along John is with his audio stuff. I don't know. I That's a tough question because I actually don't know how far along, but um, we're still asking him to do audio streams because that would be cool. Yeah. Then he can answer some questions directly. Hmm. Two, four, six, eight. Um, someone's asked me if I'm <laughs> doing a, a giveaway today, but I don't have any keys today, actually. definitely have a giveaway um, with Steve's stream. Yeah. That's an easier time to do it too. Because I can prepare for Friday. We um, on and off have giveaways on our Discord channel though. For just random things. Hmm. Right, well, that's that room blocked out. This is that area blocked out, actually. So, yeah. That's you did it. pretty much it. Yeah, got that room done. I'm just going to build the lighting now. Let that run for a bit. And, uh, yeah. Final questions. Oh, I missed this question earlier that someone was asking uh, the achievement question. Oh, shoot. Um, I think someone's asking about what kind of achievements we're going to do, but oh. I missed it. Um, I missed the question entirely. Achievements? We haven't even thought about yeah. those yet. That's too soon, I think. Yeah. Do you have to block out the cyberspace areas as well, or is that a different programmer's job? Um, cyberspace is a different question. Uh, in regards to um, those might be completely redesigned I might have to go in and block those out um, not sure yet uh, for coding streams we're going to see if we can get someone to do one it might be someone on the alternative team not the system shock team it just really depends on who's interested yeah We've still got to work out a schedule. 
I mean, we'll figure out um, maybe next month if anyone's interested in doing that. Mm. Coding streams will be great. Um, I don't think Matt's up to. I, I, I don't. So I, I d said maybe someone on the other team. Yeah. Um, would show what they're doing for their stuff, but we're we're not positive yet. Mm. We will have to work that out. Okay. Um, I'm gonna call time on this then. Um, all right. Let all right. Me remind everyone of a few things. We have our stream on uh, Wednesday with me. I'll be playing more I Have No Mouth. Um, and then we should be having Chris do another dev stream on the 17th. But um, that's very dependent. I know he's still having internet issues. And then on the 18th, we'll have Steve back for another dev stream. Um, for updates on our streams or if anything changes, um, please join our Discord, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, anything like that, and you'll get our updates. And that's it. Yeah. Cool. Well, um, thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed the uh, stream. We'll continue on this. I'm, I'm going to do some background things with this level, tidy up a bit, get some annotations in. Um, but I won't add anything extra um, until the next time. So, yeah. See you next time, guys. Thanks for tuning in and uh, talk to you later.